Like it or not, Genie Plus is coming to Disneyland. Here's how the new planning service will change your experience at the parks forever. Hey, it's Juliet. Welcome to Perfecting the Magic. We have a lot of fun here hanging out on TikTok, over at our website, perfectingthemagic.com, and of course, right here on YouTube. So make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you can stay in touch to navigate the parks in style. Today, let's dig into Disney Genie. Don't know what it is? This new service launched at Walt Disney World earlier this year, and it's embedded within the existing Disney app. Two parts of the service, one of which is free, which offers help with planning your vacation, dining recommendations, etc. But what most folks were talking about was the paid portion of the app, which is Disney Genie Plus. This essentially replaced the old fast pass system and meant that guests at Disney World now had to pay $15 per day to access Lightning Lanes, aka the new fast pass lanes. And if that's not complicated enough for you, the upcharges don't stop there. If you wanted to cut the line at the biggest rides inside each park, there's also a la carte Lightning Lanes, which are an additional fee on top of that $15 per ride. Now, Disney Genie is coming to the Disneyland Resort too. While we still don't have the official launch date, we've already seen signs that Disney Genie is coming soon to the park. It seems very likely that the service will be launching in the coming weeks. First, let's focus on the free portion of the app. It seems very unlikely to me that Disney Genie, this is the base version of the app, will have a huge impact for most guests at Disneyland. So the free portion of the app mainly centers around this tip board here, which plans an ideal itinerary for you for the day and then also shows you forecasted wait times. I utilized this service for weeks at Walt Disney World, and I have to say that for returning park veterans, you will get very little value out of this forecasted wait system. Maybe this will change in the future as they improve this service, but it seems unlikely that for most Disneyland fans, which as we know are often returning guests, that the base version of Disney Genie will get a lot of utilization. Where there may be a positive impact, if you're a first timer or Disneyland newbie, or if you're looking for quick service or sit down dining recommendations, those features were always a bit buried deeper with inside the Disneyland app and the free version of Disney Genie does do a nice job of serving up that information. Here's where the big impacts on your trip really do kick in. Now, Disney Genie Plus, as we know, is a premium upcharge service. This will cost guests $20 a day. So the first major impact here is definitely budget. While the service is optional for a family of four, this quickly adds on an additional $80 on top of your one day park tickets in order to get access to those cut the line features at most rides inside the park. And the wallet hits won't stop coming there either. So remember the Genie Plus gives you access to most rides, but not the big three at Disneyland. That's Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance at Disneyland Park, Web Slingers at Avengers Campus, and Radiator Racers over at California Adventure. Each of these rides qualify as part of that a la carte offering. We can expect the prices for Lightning Lane access to these rides to range anywhere from seven to $15 if it's akin to Walt Disney World's pricing, though I think it could even reach the $20 mark given that prices are higher across the board at Disneyland. So yeah, we are talking about a non-trivial budget impact, particularly when you start figuring in the these a la carte lightning lanes to your trip. This is all, of course, if you're not willing to wait in the standby lines. And are you going to be willing to wait? Here's where we should talk about impact two, which is wait times overall at the park. From what we saw at Walt Disney World, Disney Genie Plus definitely introduced a non-trivial amount of extended wait times for standby queues, aka standby lines across the park were longer because a whole bunch of folks were skipping that line with their Lightning Lane Plus access. We'll likely see this happen at Disneyland as well, which means that you can expect average wait times at the park to be raised an extra five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes in queue. That's incredibly situational, but what we do know for sure is that if you're not ponying up for Genie Plus, expect a longer wait for every ride inside the park. By the way, it's worth noting that this won't mean a larger crowd in the park in general. That's already being pretty hard capped by Disneyland with the new park reservation system. So don't expect to see more people in the crowd. It's just about distribution of those crowds. Impact number three, expect evenings to become busier. So now this is just totally me theorizing here, but knowing how ruthlessly efficient most Disneyland park visitors are, I expect a lot of folks will be sitting at home on their couches, queuing up a whole bunch of lightning lanes for the evening hours. Because Genie Plus is an add-on service, there's no requirement for you to be scanned inside the park to start acquiring those lightning lanes. This means folks can be building out a dream evening worth of activities and knowing how many locals like to visit the parks after work anyway, it seems likely to me that crowds will increase in the evening hours over what we've seen previously. The last impact, and I think this is arguably one of the more major impacts, and that's the feel of your park visit. So now there's going 
going to be a gauntlet associated with waking up at 7 a.m. in order to acquire your premium a la carte lightning lanes. You'll be focused on your phone throughout a lot of the day to make sure you're min-maxing and getting as many Genie Plus passes as possible. This for me did make the park feel overall, yes, great because I was cutting the lines, but a bit more stressful as well. You've now invested an additional $20 into this service. You're going to feel an obligation to spend a lot of your day focused on making sure you get a return on that $20. Love Genie Plus? Hate the idea of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay in touch.